What is up YouTube? Back with another video today. Today's video is about deworming uh, your shrimp tank. Now, not worms basically on your shrimp, but worms in your fish or your shrimp tank. And the specific worms that I'm talking about, I believe, are called flatworms. Um, now, obviously, they're not in this tank. I just wanted to start the video off shooting uh, my beautiful 40 breeder with uh, my rainbow fish inside, but we'll get to that later. Now, uh, I'm going to pan down to my shrimp tank. Uh, this is my shrimp tank. Now, I just put, uh, if it looks a little bit dirty and milky, that's because it is. Uh, I just ha I do have a lot of plant cuttings in here, my plant clippings uh, that, you know, if it grew up, grew up, uh, overgrew, I just kind of cut it like my java fern. Uh, if I did prune out some leaves, I would actually just toss it in here. Now, um, basically, uh, I just put, uh, let's see if I can bring it over here. Do this with one hand. I did just put uh, this product in here. Now this is Panicure C, uh, the active ingredient in fenbendazole. Um, now this uh, active ingredient actually kills uh, worms, uh, and it could actually will kill your uh, your snails too. So you might want to watch that out. If you don't have, if you have snails that you don't want to die, like narrow snails, or maybe your trumpet snails, or if you like snails, make sure you take them out uh, because this product will uh, will kill them. Now, um, the reason why I'm actually using this product, and uh, first, first before I uh, get into that, I actually found this out through, uh, I believe, Aquapros. Uh, he had the same problem, and he actually used this product, and uh, he said it worked. So I had the same problem, so I just uh, borrowed that from him, or that's where I found it out, found out about this product, and hopefully it works for me too. But I just put it in, so I can't really comment on the success rate on it, but it worked for him, so I'm assuming it's going to work for me. Now, um, the reason why you want to get rid of these flatworms is uh, these flatworms will actually uh, kill uh, your, your shrimp. And in a setup like mine where you're, you're trying to grow a colony out, you don't want these exactly uh, kind of roaming around and potentially killing your, your uh, potentially killing maybe like a buried female or something like that. So uh, I took the initiative to get uh, this Panic Here C and uh, put it in my shrimp tank. Now, this is a 10 gallon tank. Uh, the product that I just showed you right here uh, is actually uh, comes with three pa packets and each packet is supposed to uh, treat 10 gallons. So what I did was I diluted some uh, of the medic medication into uh, some warm water and I poured it into this, uh, this uh, tank. Now, um, so what I, what's supposed to happen is within the next 24 hours, these uh, flatworms and snails will start to die off. And once they die off, uh, they will, um, uh, it's really important that you, uh, after 24 hours, excuse me, after, uh, after they die, uh, uh, you want to do a large water change. And the water change is to actually remove the dead snails and the dead flatworms. Because if you don't, uh, this will actually cause your system to spike. Uh, resulting in uh, dead shrimp. Now you are using this product to kill the shrimp, or kill the, excuse me, kill the flatworms to protect your shrimp. Now you don't want to uh, avoid the water change and uh, have your system spike uh, through the uh, uh, decaying, uh, um, decaying uh, bio load like the snails and the flatworms. Um, so you, you really want to do a really good uh, uh, water change. Uh, now, what I plan to do is uh, do a large water change as much as I can without uh, sucking up the shrimp. I'm just scared that a lot of my young shrimp will actually get sucked up, so i got to devise a plan. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this exactly, but I know I want to do a large water change, uh, remove all the dead flatworms, remove all the dead um, snails. But uh, I will check up uh, on this tank about tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to shoot a video on it, but hopefully... Uh, uh, all the flatworms do die, and I don't have that issue again. Uh, and my shrimp will be happy. And let me see if I can pan in on a little shrimp. It might be a little bit too dark. Let me see. I can't even focus, to be honest. Let's see. Anyways, a little bit too hard for me. Uh, the tank's a little bit dark for uh, me to get some cool shots of some sh cherry shrimp. Now, this is just a cherry shrimp tank. But uh, now, if you have uh, problems like this with the flatworms, and, uh, you know, you have better ideas than not using this uh, chemical. Maybe you're not too comfortable with that. Please shoot me or drop a comment. Let me know how you dealt with uh, these flatworms because this is actually my first time dealing with it. So any uh, tips or uh, helpful advice would be much appreciated. Um, hopefully this uh, video helped you out. Uh, 
I know I haven't, you know, I can't report on the, the success rate on this, but I'm assuming if it worked for a, a few people, it, it will work for me. So um, I'm going to pan back up to this awesome 40 real quick. And so, yeah, I hope you found this uh, video helpful and enjoyable. If not, then uh, hopefully the next video will help you out. And if you did, drop a like. So I'll see you folks next time. Thanks. Bye.